G'day guys, my name's Wayne. Look, recently I've been thinking a lot about our Crutchmaster system and can we integrate it more into the actual sharing process. Um, now we've got a lot of them out there working really well and more and more going out all the time, so that's really positive. And now I'm really keen to look at start to start to look at you know can it start to become a part of the sharing process and and maybe save some time and possibly some money on those sharing costs uh, firstly I just want to let you know look I was a sheriff for 15 years so I've got a little bit of knowledge of the sharing industry I've been a sharing contractor as well and also I'm off a farm and I've been in farming all my life so I have a reasonable reasonable amount of knowledge about this sort of thing and so what I'm going to do, I've, firstly I'm going to show you a video now of me belly crutching a, a hogget, okay, a wet muddy hogget. So I, I want to show the, the capabilities of the crutch master to take a full belly off, which is integral to what we're looking at here. And we're doing tens of thousands of sheep a year of, of taking the full bellies off them. And then I'm going to show you a video um, of a guy shearing a merino, and I, I split it into two types and edited it a little bit. And that's going to give us a lot of data. Um, of the of the process and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to analyze that data and it's possibly going to give us the chance to ask some questions and and look at this in a bit more detail is that is there a possibility of integrating a crutch master system into the sharing industry cheers Okay, so what I've done here, I've just um, grabbed a video off the internet of a guy shearing uh, Marina U, and the first time we're going to watch him do the full shear. Okay, um, and then what I've done on the next video, you're going to see that I've edited out the parts, the belly and the crutch that we can do in the Crutch Master, just so we can have a comparison. Now, as you can see here, he took two minutes and fifty-two seconds to do that sheep. Now, this is the same sheep. All I've done is taken the belly and the crutch and a top knot off it, which we would take off in our crutch master system very easily. And he's just shown it so it's the same sheep, same blow, so it gives us a complete comparison. And as you'll see, it took two minutes and six seconds. Okay, so we've seen the starter now, and we've seen that uh, on the first situation, 167 sheep a day, by taking out the belly, full crutch, and a top knot. Uh, you take the guy up to around 228 a day. I've extrapolated it out. Okay, that seemed likely. That bears in mind what we've seen in New Zealand with a lot of belly crutching. Okay, now the shearer is getting two dollars eighty at 167 sheep. He gets 467 dollars. Okay, and I'm not trying to rip the shearers off. They earn their money. Trust me, I did it for long enough. Okay, they deserve what they get. But what I am saying is that he could still earn 467 dollars by shearing the no belly sheep. For two dollars and four cents a sheep as opposed to the two dollars eighty now that's a 76 cent saving for the farmer and i'm struggling to see the loser in that there so that's the that's my first point okay the second thing you've got to look at with this being 25 percent quicker is there less shed staff needed you know could you drop a maybe from three down to two or from four down to three which is going to save you uh, wages as well from your sharing point of view because a lot of that work's already done. Okay, that's one other point. The other point I'll make with that there is that being 25% faster, that's going to mean if it, if your shearing normally took four days, it now looks like it'll take three days. So therefore, that's a whole day's worth of wages saved for shed staff, presses, classes, everyone else. Okay, so I think those are significant things to think about. I'm not. I've got no uh, suggestions with that there. I'm just trying to generate debate and discussion okay now there's a couple of issues here for the farmers of course the first one is this here okay no one's going to turn up and crutch the sheep and not charge a bit more okay and I'd suggest you're probably looking at 20 25 cents more to get them crutched it doesn't take 
much longer at all to whip the belly off in our crutch master system so that's not a big deal so it's not going to cost you much more but i think it's likely you'll be 20 cents more okay the other thing and this is a key point of it that i really need to try and get across is that obviously the crutching is not done the same time as the shearing so there's a distinct possibility if you go this way that the time that you take the belly and the crutch and the wig off might be quite different in time to when you shear it it could be weeks it could even be months so what you then need to get your head around the fact is that the, when they come in for shearing they're gonna go out just not looking the same as what they have in the past okay the belly could be a little bit longer okay the crutch could be a little bit longer. They might not just look quite as nice as you want, but you have to ask yourself, is that a logical, rational reason for not doing it? Does that actually matter? The difference between a well-shorn sheep and a badly shorn sheep, in my opinion, was always two or three weeks anyway. Um, so that's something that, as a farmer, you have to get your head around. But look, the point I want to make here is that all I really want to do is get the discussion going. We think that this is a, a good option to explore. We've already started down this track. We've got some preliminary data that looks promising. Um, we're looking for clients in Australia that are keen to look into this further and we will help you to progress this and see does it actually work in practice. Now the theory sounds good, but is it gonna work in practice? I think the risk is minimal, but we're looking for people out there that wanna help, that wanna try this and see can we make this work? Is it actually going to come across as saving you money. Get a hold of me. Cheers.